preparing and recording. Oh, yeah. Awesome sauce. So, okay. So now, again, peace, blessings, much love, everybody. You are now tuned into the OFC Business Zone. Um, as you guys know, so the OFC stands for One Full Circle. We are the Melanated Community Network. Um, we basically bridge the gap between the French and English speaking a melanated community. And we just make it a point to just promote that black excellence. Um, so today I have a very special guest with us. I have um, a very long time OFC member, um, a community builder, supporter, innovator, motivator. Um, he is my boy, Chris Latham. He is the owner and creator of Happiness Loves Company. <sighs> No, we have no clap, so you guys What's are hearing up, my, my, my dry <laughs> clap in the back. <laughs> so, Chris, welcome to the OFC Business Zone. How are you doing? I'm doing good today, Farrow. How about yourself, man? Ah, fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. So now, um, so as you guys know, because of this, 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 this awesome time that we're in, um, no, my sarcasm, but the, uh, we're pre-recording all our, all our segments. So technically, people are listening to this. I think it's 8.30 in the morning, Friday. All right, um, haha, it's not right enough for us, but uh, <laughs> if you're up and you're heading to work, um, blessings and protections upon you as you are going into what you have to do and mad love for doing what you have to do. So that's what it is. So yes, so Chris, so like I like to start these things. So first and foremost, um, can, can we get to know about you? Who is Chris Latham? Yes, so this actually comes out at a good time because just today I was revamping the bio I had put on my website. So that's nice. perfect timing. So I'll read that out just because I have it here in front of me. And I think it's just it's the best way to describe who I am as a person. Perfect. So Chris Latham, you'll most likely find them wearing a black t-shirt, earbuds on, a book in hand, and a hamburger, mustard, onions, and pickles close by. <laughs> I live my life constantly seeking new experiences. This is all driven by a childlike curiosity for people, places, and things. Being a blend of a dreamer and a realist, I choose to see the good in people first. And if you could take away two things from all this, from my life and what I've learned is never stop being silly as you age and happiness loves company. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> Shit, I might have to ask you to rewrite my bio. It's just, I don't, I don't even know. My bio is not, it's definitely not as, as hot as that and punchy. Uh, so Chris <laughs> Latham copywriting business coming soon. <laughs> That's it. And in these times, you got to get innovative and creative. So, yes, you do what you got to do, my brother. Yes, sir. That's yes, awesome. Sir. And, and, and I could attest to everything you said there. From, 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 from when I met you and from as long as I've known you as an OFC member and just building with you in the community, um, you've done a lot. You've always, you're always down to help. Um, like, I, I know you don't like me calling you out, um, but, like, definitely, like, for those who don't know, like, when the OFC, when we had booked the theater, when we had done uh, the black, uh, when we had rented the entire theater, for the Black Panther film. That was Chris that was behind that one. Um, we also mm -hmm. did another film. I can't remember the name of the film, but there's another little black film where we, where uh, Chris had sponsored like 10 tickets or something. We sent some youth to go check out the, the film downtown. It was, it was a, a black kid's film. film. It was exactly. A, a, a Balu, Balu, Bali or something along that line. Something like that, you know what I mean? And I feel there was another thing you did just recently too. You did the movie, you did that. I can't remember, but it's anyways, the point is you're always mm -hmm. down. <laughs> yeah, down for the cause. Down. You're always down for the cause and you're always down to support community. So we, we thank you for what you're doing um, and Appreciate just for it. what you're continuing to do, my brother. So now, before we, do, we, do, we jump in, because I know like basically you launched, you launched a new podcast, but before we do that, if, like, um, I know you wear many hats. So I, I don't know if you want to take a quick moment just to let people know like what you're doing before you jumped into the podcast world. Yeah, so I currently work as a fitness, well, personal trainer, coach for a facility in TMR called Core Excellence, and I help people look good, feel good, move good, all throughout exercise and through bits of mindset training as well. Um, throughout the process up until now, I've had different ideas of businesses I want to start, things I want to try out. Some have panned out, some quite haven't panned out, and most of those that haven't panned out is just more in creating systems, because I know myself as a person, and once I'm all in, I'm all in. But at the same time, I understand that me being a coach takes a lot of my energy, and right, yeah. I gladly enjoyed helping others is what I live to do. And for myself, I would have to create something in systems where that it's not too time consuming on my part, but not time consuming in the sense of like, oh, I'm going to build this dream business. I don't have to go about it. I understand every business needs works, but mm -hmm. to build systems so that when say Monday, 5 p.m. comes, 
I know I need a two hour block to get this done and I have a system set up to make that execute through. So a lot of the time I've been spending these past months and the past year was building systems for stuff that I want to create. So when it comes time to launch, it's easy to go through with it. Mm, um, again, I need to take a book, a page out of your book. <laughs> <laughs> The struggle is real. Uh, well, on this, side. this this came from like books and books and podcasts, the countless hours I spend just consuming information for the need to learn, the hunger to learn, to find an answer to help find an answer to the solution of what I want to have happen in life mm. and to build a future that I want to live. You know, and uh, and again, and, and one thing that I, that I did want to mention, because you also even created a little private WhatsApp group where actually you share a lot of awesome content. Um, because mm -hmm. even as you just said that, I know I've, I've I've taken in some of the stuff that you shared in that group, and it's 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 awesome. But again, it just speaks to your character and just speaks to how you function as a as an individual, just looking to share opportunities and share information with people in the communities, which is huge. Um, but now, so in creating the systems, um, because I have a question about that, was what would you say is the hardest part when when developing new systems and new like uh you know like like basically like yeah. I guess I'll, I'll leave it at that. Like, what, what would you say is the hardest part in terms of creating systems and, and how do you overcome that? So for myself, the hardest part with creating systems is I'm like, I love consuming content for the purpose of learning. And the hardest part is when I come to a crossroad of, do I go with this choice with this particular method or that particular method? And mm -hmm. now I've come to a point like, all right, if I go down this method, take, take this particular method, what path is the lead down? And does that tie into my end goal of where I want to be in life? So now that's, that's really what's guiding with my decisions and how I make my choices on what system to implement. And also trial and error at the same time is the best way to go about things. Uh, and you see, and I think that's where um, my area of development is, is because I, I don't spend enough time developing systems and I, I'm a very big trial and error type of person. So mm -hmm. I'd be like, you know what? I'll spend, uh, I don't know, a day, two days going through the process and be like, you know what? I'm just diving in. I'm going to try this shit out. Like, and just see how this is going to go. Yeah. Um, so, see what the outcome is. And like, so, and there's an advantage of that. Um, there, there's definitely an advantage of the practical, like, you know, to get that practical experience. Mm -hmm. um, but I, in the long term, um, I definitely take my hats off to the people who can, who do take time to, to establish and cre create the systems. Um, so just one because, thing though, one mm -hmm. thing is, you don't, have to, you don't have to create the system. The system's already been created. You just need to mm. find it and implement it. So one of the quotes mm. I'm hearing a long time ago was Will Smith giving a speech way back. And it's one of the reasons why I also enjoy reading now. He goes, whatever experience you're going through in life has already been gone through before and been written down in a book. It's your job to go out there and find it. Whoa. Yeah. We'll, we'll be dropping that knowledge with those knowledge <laughs> bombs, man. <laughs> okay. So when, it comes to, when it comes to systems, one thing I find that helps are podcasts because you could easily consume that content while doing other stuff. So it's a two for one. So instead yeah, of yeah, like, yeah. some people say they have a hard time sitting down and reading books, which I get it. It may not be your thing right now. You could have known one thing is in your head, but a podcast, you could do that on the, com on the commute to work, commute mm -hmm. to school, while doing mm -hmm. dishes, or while doing any sort of brainless task that you normally do without having to think too much. That's a yeah. perfect time to consume that content. And there's tons of podcasts out there that People just sharing their business plans like, oh, this is how I do this, I do that, I do this, this turns to that, flip it to that, and boom, I got X, Y, and Z. And they are give you the whole business plan right there for free because they just want to share in helping others succeed and reach their goals as well. Mm, so the, man, key Chris, not, the key is about knowing where to look. That's it. And, and well, when you, get, when you got people like you in your network, because you do share a lot of information as well. <laughs> so I have to say you do make the search a little bit easier. Um, yeah. and, and before we get off, I definitely like, uh, we, we got to remember just to share the, the WhatsApp and if, I don't know if, if just people it, who are listening right now who might be interested and want to get involved and, you know, we, we could show them how they could get, uh, get in contact with you and whatnot, yeah, but sure. let's use this as an opportunity to segue. Um, so happiness loves company. Yes. So that's the okay. podcast. So first that's the brand the name. name. Uh, yeah. The name. Now the, the name, you tied it into the bio perfectly. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the name came from is so one of my if i were to describe myself in two words it would be relentlessly optimistic and relentlessly is the perfect word because people think it's easy oh you're always happy like no there's work like there's time put into this like i put years of like working on finding the positive in situations looking for the good um also looking at the negative but choosing not to spend too much energy on that mm. and one of the first ways i figured this out was 
think it was either high school or CJP when I compared it to looking at clouds. Like mm -hmm. look at the sky, there's all types of clouds. Right. Now you could choose to fix it on just one cloud and spend your entire day looking at that cloud, or you could choose to bounce to the next cloud. And that mm -hmm. same thing comes with negative things that happen in our lives. You could choose to find the one bad thing and look at nothing but that. Mm -hmm. Or you could say, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna let go of that thought. I'm gonna go focus on another thought that's more uplifting, that puts me to do good, or that puts me in a better mood and makes me happier, energizes me. So those, that was like the first like aha moment I had in my life. I'm like, oh, there's something here. So I've been just constantly digging and searching, soul searching, going through books, podcasts, movies, audiobooks, just consuming content to get a better understanding of that. And the reason for happiness plus company is that I realized we're living in a world where it's easy to spread the negative. Mm -hmm. And originally what I wanted to do was create a website that shares good news. Right. And then I, when I thought through them, I'm like, oh, that's a lot of work. Not, not that I'm scared of doing work. Like, it was a lot of work that they didn't bring me any joy or passion. I'm like, I'm just kind of looking at stuff online, putting articles, reposting, not the same. Mm. And then so thought it, I always want to put out good news, hearing people talk and I hear people complain all day long. And it's like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I got to tune this out. So that's why you always catch me with earbuds on because I rather listen yeah. to more positive stuff coming in through podcasts or conversations, people that are doing good and in a good state. Because honestly, there's a ton of good stuff going on in the world right now. Yeah. If you look for it, if you don't look exactly. for it, you're going to be given bad news. That's it. So now we're all familiar with the quote that says misery loves company. Yes, and yeah. I've always lived my life of what if you flip things to the positive, like, when I was a kid, I learned the number 13 was a bad, lucky, unlucky number. I'm like, all right, I'll just take it and make it lucky. Like, it's just a choice at the end of the day. <laughs> I love that, yeah. <laughs> and then I later on learned that everybody's favorite number is 13. I'm like, oh, here I thought it was all cool. <laughs> I'm forward thinking. I'm, I'm a trend trailblazer over here. Like, nah, dude. Everybody thought about that. <laughs> right, that's it. Yeah, no, so, and I have to, I commend you for that, bro. Like, especially in these times. Like, what you're bringing, what you're coming with, that energy, especially in these times is what people need. Um, yeah. and, and like I mentioned it, I mentioned it, uh, last week when I spoke is that, um, I started, um, meeting with like a, a spiritual, I guess, I don't want to say a guide. It's more, well, she's kind of like a guide, but she's more of a channel like, to be a lack of a better term, you know? So I had an opportunity to really connect with some non-physical beings, like straight up and just have a mm -hmm. full conversation. And uh, like their main thing is just keeping the vibration high. They're like, yeah. they're like what's happening is like what you focus on and you're going to draw more of it. And we know this from like the law yes. of attraction, those kind of things. <laughs> But when, they're, when you're when you're hearing it from cosmic beings and they're like, no, it's really that simple. Like, it's like what's happening. It's like it, it's like it's going to happen. It's almost inevitable. But it's like those who cannot see past it, they're going to be affected by it. But those who can really, you know, vibrate higher, they're good to go. So even on that, like it's I know a lot of people don't believe in the whole um, if you think about it, it'll come and positive affirmations and whatever you put your energy to comes to you. There's um, this magician illusionist hypnotist called darren brown from the uk okay. and i bring this up because it's so perfect in terms of explaining that if you choose to see nothing but the bad that's all you're going to find in life mm -hmm. i'll give you a quick tldr too long didn't read and i'll send you a link to the video you can share that in the show notes or share that onto the paid website okay. and in short darren goes into a city creates a whole story on this lucky dog statue and if you st rub the, the statue's head some good luck happens to you and he finds three people that live in this small town city in the UK or in Ireland, and he follows them around. And one particular guy is a butcher. He considers himself the most unluckiest guy in the world. Nothing good ever happens to him, just the bad. Darren's mm -hmm. like, all right, this is the perfect guy candidate. So he goes with him, and what he does, he follows his day-to-day -day routine and literally sets him up for success to win and be lucky. So one example would be uh, he's on his way to the bank. The lady walks him, excuse me, sir. You just want to fill out a quick interview. It's two easy questions, five easy questions. If you answer them, you win 200 bucks. Now, the guy's a butcher. The questions were literally, name me five cuts of beef. <laughs> but dude was like, yeah, maybe later I got to go to the bank. Uh, another time, come back. I'll come back after, bye. So he'd even jump on them. Like, all right, that's, that's kind of shitty. Uh, right. Another example he did was on the guy's path, he laid a 100-pound note on the floor. So when the guy got to the corner, if he just looked down, he'd find the money. He didn't look down, kept going. Uh, another situation was uh, someone needed help opening this one. I, probably, I may be mixing this one with another episode, but someone needed help with moving their car, or changing a tire. He right. said some of the lines of I'll come back. And that person was ready to like buy a ton of, buy a ton of his products. Right. So at the end of the day, he comes back, shows the guy the video footage of like, yeah, we were setting up to win, but dude chooses not to see opportunity and mm -hmm. just keeps going on. You know what? This is who I am. This is what I do. And it all comes back to what is the story that we tell ourselves? Mm. 
Like you could wow. choose to be like, you know what? I'm not happy. I'm miserable. Everything is not good in life. Yada, 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 negative, negative, negative. Or you'd be like, you know what? Screw it. I make a flip, I make a 180 change. I'm going to start saying good things on myself, looking for good things. And the more you do that and you repeat that, that's a muscle you build and you grow. Right. So now when I say relentlessly optimistic is that I spent years working on this. Yeah, it looks easy now because it's like, I'm like Yoda of this thing. Like, you know, you come in as a young Luke Skywalker putting in work. Meanwhile, I'm falling asleep on the rock still watching. Yeah. Like, I've, I've been doing this. But it's, it's still constant work. I got to feed that energy. I got to feed yeah. that. I, I got to feed that in me to keep, make sure that mm. it's constantly strong. It's always on point. And yeah, sure. I'll slip up. I'm human. We're all going to slip up from time to time. But it's to make sure that when you slip, you don't stay down there crying for help. Because ain't no one going to come help when you're down, man. You got to get up yourself and move. Bro, heavy, heavy, <laughs> heavy. So now, so okay. So basically, now I understand what you're what, what, what you're saying. So what what we could expect um, by tuning into your podcast. So uh, the, the episodes I've heard, uh, it was all positive, all awesome. Like I'm, I, I'm looking forward to being interviewed myself. I want to definitely mm-hmm. get on that one. Um, mm-hmm. But so what what kind of what kind of listeners expect? Okay, so before I say what I expect, what I'll start off with is the reason why I'm doing the podcast. Okay. Is I love learning and I realize one of the things I love in life is engaging in good conversations, spending time with good people and learning. Mm -hmm. And with the schedule I have with work, I'm usually working when others aren't working and when others are working, I'm not working, which makes it kind of hard to hang out with friends. I'm like, you know what? I love listening to podcasts that are interviews because I get to learn about people and what they're doing in life. I'm like, what if I kind of do it myself? And a podcast is a great way from like, the interviews are a great way for me. You know what? I'm a book an hour with time with a friend. This can be our time to just chit chat, catch up, and have good conversations that we normally do, but just record it. Because every time I'd be with friends, you'd have an hour and a half call about a certain subject, subject and walk in like, man, that would be good content if I just recorded that. Mm-hmm. So what's great with the podcast is you'll be able to hear me ask questions in a different format. So not just like, yeah, what do you do for a living? Like, yeah, no one really cares what you do for a living, but like, yeah, I'll put it in there a bit because I'm still learning the skill right. of being a good interviewer. Right, yeah. And so for me, it's again, happiness loves company. So it's about keeping things positive, always looking for the good things in life, people sharing what they're doing good in life, and just also getting a chance to better understand and learn about the person I'm talking to. Because the goal is to be able to one day interview some of the top biggest successful people out there in the world and learn from them through these mm-hmm. conversations. That's what's up. Oh my God. Anyway, I am, I'm excited. And, and I'm definitely, I'm encouraging all our listeners um, to really like, like to look for it. Like I said, I'll, I'll post, uh, I'll share the links and stuff on our page. Um, but okay, let's give them the details in terms of how to find it how to tune in, where to find you and stuff like that. Yeah. So right now it's on Spotify. If you look for happiness loves company, and then you go down to see all under podcast, you'll find it. It pops up with a big bright red logo. Um, I had an error putting it on Apple music and citrus. I got to kind of work on that. That may be like a two to four week process with uh, uploading that data. But if not, you can find it at anchor.fm backslash happiness dash loves dash company and as i'm saying that out loud i'm going to put a page onto the website if you go to chris latham.ca yeah podcast (laughs) you'll find it there i'm like wait a minute that's way too long (laughs) so chris Chris latham.ca click podcast and i'm currently working on creating a podcast only website for the podcast so that's not amazing and and latham for those who don't know that's l-a-t-h-a-m m as in montreal yeah Beautiful and uh, so, and and that's it and those and I guess that's the best way to reach you if anybody does want to just connect with you if anybody um I don't know if, if people could contact you if they if they feel like they have some positive things that they want to share or they want to just you know yeah like, for I, sure you know because so if you I, be, so what I've been doing is actually posting on my Instagram was just good deeds like with everything going wrong in the world I'm like you just like my newsfeed is just positive stuff like I've audited yeah. my newsfeed I've purged my newsfeed I'm like this is nothing but good stuff let me share this content so you have mm-hmm. cases of a guy, I think, in Dallas that created a system where he turns the air into water to help people that in like Flint, Michigan and in Venezuela don't have clean water. Dude created that. Black man, by the way. That's pretty dope. Hey, hey, man, <laughs> that. okay. You got, with the whole COVID situation, I think you have a 13 or 16-year-old kid that created a website that has accumulated all the data of all the deaths and everything going on onto a website. Mm-hmm. You have athletes donating money to people that work for the stadiums and families. You have a ton of good stuff going on in the world, but if you don't know where to look for it or find it, you're just going to think the world is scary out there and never leave outside your house and explore amazing things that are out there to look for. That's what it is. So we could also follow you on Instagram. So it's Chris Latham yeah. on Instagram. 
No, Coach Latham on Instagram. Ah, Coach see, good. Latham, yeah. Coach Latham on Instagram. So, Chris, I'm telling you, it's been awesome. I am very, very happy to have you on. I thank you for what you're doing. Um, I thank you for just bringing that energy. It's be, what you're doing is beyond community. What you're doing is actually you're, you're doing a, a service to the planet. Um, well, that's the goal. Like, I'll, yes. I'll, I'll say this now. I've said it out loud to friends. The goal is to help change 10 million lives. Mm -hmm. 10 million lives. I, I, don't know how I don't know how yet, but that's the goal. 10 million lives. It's a process, Bro. a goal. I'm just going to believe in it and dive in head first. Bro, you have my you have my hundred and ten support. Um, and ten to that. me, you say 10 million, 10 million lives. That's that's laughable. We'll do that, bro. We'll do that. And let's give us uh, yeah, less than ten years. We'll have ten million. You've had, you've had you would have impacted over ten million. All right. I'm spe speaking the affirmations and letting it happen. Again, it out there in the universe, baby. You know it. You know how it works. Chris, I thank you again. Um, and let, uh, one more time. So for those um, who want to find the podcast, or you, the easiest, right? Like you go to Spotify and it's, it's a happiness loves company on Spotify, or you can go to uh, Chris's website. So it's Chris Yeah. Um, and we could also follow you on Instagram. So that's coach Latham on IG. Yeah. And that's once again, it. Latham is L A T H A M as in Montreal. That's what it is. And so for everybody, this has been the OFC Business Zone. As you guys know, OFC is one full circle. We are the Melanated Community Network, where we bridge the gap between the French and the English-speaking Melanated Community. And we just love bringing you that Black excellence. Thank you again for all you guys are doing, and stay well. Thank you, Chris. Peace out, family. Peace. Uh, do you want to stop the call? Yes. Yeah.